In Buddhism, symbolic offerings are made to the Triple Gem, giving rise to contemplative gratitude and inspiration. Typical material offerings involve simple objects such as a lit candle or oil lamp, burning incense, flowers, food, fruit, water or drinks. Within the traditional Buddhist framework of karma and rebirth, offerings lead to the accumulation of merit, which leads to a better rebirth in the cycle of birth and death, Pali, Vatagamini Kusala. Progress towards release from suffering, Pali, Vivadagamini Kusala. These offerings often act as preparation for meditation. Topic. Theravada practices Material offerings nurture generosity Pali, Dana, and virtue Pali, Sila. The act further honors the Triple Gem the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha, deepening one's commitment to the Buddha's path. For instance, traditional chants in English and Pali when offering lit candles Puja and incense Saganda Puja to an image of the Buddha are Similarly, a traditional Pali incense lighting verse speaks of the Buddha's fragrant body and fragrant face, fragrant with infinite virtues. By contemplating on an offering, one tangibly sees life's impermanence Pali, Anicca, one of the three characteristics of all things upon which the Buddha encouraged his disciplines to recollect. For instance, the end of a traditional chant in English and Pali when offering flowers Puffa Puja to an image of the Buddha is Topic. Mahayana practices Mahayana material offerings might be imbued with the following symbology. The lighting of a candle or an oil lamp represents the light of wisdom illuminating the darkness of ignorance. The burning of incense represents the fragrant scent of morality. Flowers represents the aspiration to achieve the body of the Buddha with the 32 marks of the Buddha as well as the teaching of impermanence. Alternately, a Zen verse expresses the desire for the mind's flowers to bloom in the springtime of enlightenment. Food, fruit, water, drinks represents the nectar of Dharma and the wish to achieve it. In Northern Buddhism, sacred images have set before them water representing hospitality, to wash the face and feet, scarves, tib. Khab tags, offering friendship. Flowers, incense, lamps, perfume and food representing ones devoting all their senses to their spiritual practice. Non-material offerings In some traditions, two different types of offerings are identified Material or hospitality offerings Pali, Amisa Puja or Sakara Puja Practice offerings Pali, Patipati Puja In this context, material offerings are considered external offerings of words and deeds. Practice offerings may be manifested by practicing, giving Pali, Dana moral conduct sila, meditation samadhi, wisdom panya. In the Pali canon, the Buddha declared practice offerings as the best way of honoring the Buddha and as the supreme offering. This is primarily an internal offering for mental development Pali, Sita, Bhavana and Samadhi. Topic see also almsgiving Buddhism chanting Buddhism meditation Buddhism Dana Buddhism householder Buddhism fan tray prostration Buddhism puja Buddhism Buddhanasati recollection Buddhism Buddha's hand topic notes topic bibliography Harvey Peter 1990 an introduction to Buddhism teachings history and practices Cambridge Cambridge University ISBN 0-521-31333-3 Indratana Maha Thera, Elgaria 2002. Vandana, the album of Pali devotional chanting and hymns. Penang, Malaysia, Mahindarama Dhamma Publication. Retrieved of October 2007 from Budanet at http colon slash slash www.budanet.net slash pdf underscore file slash vandana02.pdf. Karyawasam, AGS 1995. Buddhist Ceremonies and Rituals of Sri Lanka The Wheel Publication No. 402-404. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society. Retrieved 23 October 2007 from Access to Insight 1996 Transcription at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash karyawasam slash wheel 402.html hash ch3. Kaplo, Philip, 1989b. Zen, Merging of East and West. N.Y., Anchor Book. 
ISBN 0-385-26104-7. Kantapalo, Bhikkhu Lay Buddhist Practice, The Shrine Room, Upasatha Day, Reigns Residence The Wheel No. 206-207. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society. Retrieved the 22nd of October 2007 from Access to Insight, transcribed 1995 at http slash 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 lib slash authors slash cantapalo slash wheel 206.html. Lee Damodaro, Ajahn and Thanissaro Bhikkhu, trans. 1998. Vizaka Puja. Retrieved the 22nd of October 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash 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 lib slash tie slash li slash vizaka dot html. Nyanaponika Thera 2000. The Vision of Dhamma, Buddhist Writings of Nyanaponika Thera. Seattle, BPS Pariyati Editions. ISBN 1-928706-03-7. Sony, R. L. and Bhikkhu Kantapalo 2006. Life's Highest Blessings, The Maha Mangala Sutta. Retrieved the 22nd of October 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash sony slash wheel 254.htm. External links about the Buddha Altar Soto Zen Home Altar with Offerings. The Consecration Ritual Virtual Puja at Emerald Buddha Temple Wad Frey Q.